everybody. Today I'm going to show you how to remove the factory door nets and replace them with these awesome doors from Turnkey UTV. The kit consists of three parts. The door post, the door itself, and the door striker. With the seats removed, I used a cordless drill with a Torx bit to start removing the screws that hold the net in. Next will come the removal of the hoop. Save these nuts and bolts because they'll be used to bolt the door striker in later. To gain access to the last bolt, you'll have to remove the under seat panels. The door net latches come off with the removal of one nut. To remove the glove box, start by removing the trim panel, which will just pull straight back. Next remove the two bolts that hold the glove box in, and the glove box will pull straight back also and drop. Now on the driver's side, we will remove the CVT intake cover, the filter screen, and the rubber grommet that holds the screen in. This will give us access to the tube that the top of our door post is going to mount to. Now we'll start removing all of the lower fender screws. screws at the front of the rocker panel, the lower screws on the rear bodywork, and the single screw at the rear of the rocker panel. Now if you have Nerf bars, they'll come off next. Next you'll need to drill out the four rivets that hold the bottom of the rocker panel to the body. These rivets will be replaced with self tapping bolts that are included in the kit. It takes a little work, but the rocker panel will eventually pull out and down from the body. Next you'll remove three bolts from the footwell. An open end 916 wrench will hold these flat nuts in place. First, remove the cover plate from the door post. Next, feed the door post up under the dash and into position at the front of the door opening. The top of the door post will fit squarely with the tube under the dash. The upper door hinge will sit where the net latch used to. Now loosely bolt the saddle to the top of the door post. Be sure to leave these bolts loose so that you'll have room to adjust the doors once you hang them. On the passenger side, I found it easier to drop the bolts in from the top on the inside and go up from the bottom on the outside. Now we can start loosely attaching the bolts to the bottom of the door post. 
All of these bolts will fit in factory locations. Again, we don't want to tighten anything completely until the door has been installed. First, remove the bolt that holds the seatbelt recoil to the body. The door striker will slide in between the recoil housing and the body. Now we'll reuse the bolts that held the bottom of the hoop on and reattach the seatbelt recoil. Starting with the bottom, line up the pins on the door with the hinges on the door post. Every one of these machines is different and the doors probably won't line up with the latch on your first try. You'll more than likely have to make minor adjustments to the door striker by bending it. Small adjustments go a long way, so take your time and go slowly. After some minor adjustments, you should have your door opening and closing freely. Now you can start tightening up all the mounting hardware. And replace the cover plate on the door post. Once you've replaced all your body panels, you'll need to do one last check to make sure the door still functions properly. You may have to make minor adjustments to body panels or even the door striker. And the doors should open and close easily and not rattle when they're closed. <laughs>